Welcome back to another quick tutorial. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to create shapes and drawings within Google Docs. So we often use this if we're trying to outsource any work, conceptualize with graphic designers. We can simply create a new Google Doc and we're going to come up here to insert and under drawings, we can select a new. What that's going to do is it's going to pop up a uh, transparent drawing tool where we, we actually have the ability to create new shapes, arrows, callouts, we can add mathematical equations, we could create text, we could add images, and then we can simply save and close our drawing. So for example, let's go ahead and create a sample uh, business card. All right, so we're going to create the example um, of the business card, we can move this shape out a little bit. If we wanted to create a text box, we could put in, um, all right, name of business. And we can go ahead and format the text, for example, if we wanted it to be in the center. Um, we could add a new shape, like a rectangle shape, where we can put in the information of the business. We could change the color if we wanted to, create another text box within that that says uh, describe business. All right, and we can use this simple drawing to then bring back into our Google Doc. There's a lot of different shapes that you can try out. You could do a circle, right? And we can go ahead and put in um, CEO, founder, right? We want their photo in there. You can customize and create this in any way that you want. Um, and when you're happy with it, you would simply press save and close and it will automatically import that drawing into your Google Doc. So a fantastic way to create templated ideas uh, for graphic designers, or I'm sure you can get creative with using this within Google Docs for a variety of different use cases. Thanks for watching this quick video. Subscribe to this channel if you want all kinds of quick tutorials that help you. Uh, create an impact online and drop your questions and comments in the comment section below and we'll get them answered.